Well, Hannah Graham was a special girl. She was extremely smart, very witty, very athletic. She was musically inclined. She number one chair in the in the sax for the saxophone in the state of Virginia. Uh, she was a co-captain on our softball team. Just a dream to be around. And Craig, you know, you, I was interested in how you described her because you said she was a band geek. You said that when you you know her as a girl who doesn't <clears throat> drink, she doesn't party. So I'm I'm we really are curious to know how you reconcile the images that we've now all seen on the surveillance tapes of her where she looks intoxicated. I know you're, you know the ones we're talking about, the ones first in the dormitory where she's clearly walking somewhere, and then the next ones where she's out in the town of Charlottesville looking sort of disoriented and confused, and police have said intoxicated. How do you make sense of it? Well, I can't make sense of it. It doesn't add up. No, none of the pictures that we're seeing on television through the surveillance video makes any sense to me whatsoever based on the child that I know. Uh, Hannah, straight laced, she very smart. She's not going to be disoriented or lost in the town where she's been for a year. So, uh, to me, there's foul play. Uh, she's not a drinker. Uh, she's not a party girl. She's a 4.0 or better straight A student. And so, I what mean, does foul play mean? Well, foul play to me means that there's something else that intervened, whether it was intentional or unintentional. To me, the alcohol that Hannah could have possibly consumed could never have made her this disoriented. This is an athlete. This is a kid that's run on the football field with saxophones in formation. This is a kid that sprints around bases and slides in and scores runs. The, there's no amount of alcohol that could make her act like that in you, a short period of time. I know that you spoke to the parents of no, one I of have the... No, I have not spoke to the parents. Not Hannah's the, parents, but oh, the okay. parents, I believe, of one of the friends that she was with the night that she disappeared. What did they tell you? Well, what they told me was one of the close friends of Hannah actually was with her the night at the first party and said they had had a beer. And so with that party, it ended at 11. Hannah at 11.30 said she was going home and that she was tired. And then the next thing we see is uh, she's running around Charlottesville, lost, confused, and dazed. Uh, so she apparently was coerced in going to a second party, what I've been told. And that doesn't leave a lot of time to be in the condition that we're seeing if there wasn't some other kind of uh, something going on. Yeah. Uh, again, this is, a, this is a kid that, uh, when I say band geek, I mean it in the most affectionate ways. This is a child that was going to change the world. I mean, this is a kid that was pre-med. Again, as a junior in high school, she took the SATs and scored so high she never had to take them again wow. with no practice. So, I mean, this is not the typical child you would think that would even be in a situation yeah.